Okay, so I was just getting set up for my next recording session and I found out something quite interesting. So first of all, this Spirit Vision, which I've been getting used to, you actually don't need to have it on all the time. Now once you've actually found a spirit that you didn't know that was there before, with Spirit Vision, they're just there permanently, it seems, so... We're going to go and have a look around, and I've actually found some interesting people around here, so... We're going to have a quick chat with them, and then we're going to get on to where we're going next, which is... Now, I have an interesting little image, which is a map that I don't try to look at too much, but it does show me the best places to go depending on what level you are. So we're not going to be going east over here, we're going to be going north, and we're going to be exploring this area here. So we're going to have a chat, and then we're going to get on the way over here. I say that, I actually don't know what any of these people are going to say, so... Maybe some of them have some quests for me, or maybe they're just going to chat with me, so let's say hello. Yes, you was, but you heard the click, and then the click, then came the bang, then came the bang. <laughs> click, click, bang. <laughs> okay, so that guy's clearly insane, and there's probably a good reason why he's dead. Anyway, moving swiftly on, there was, oh, apparently I've spotted something. Oh, hello. Did not know this was here. Dig, 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 come on. What do we got? A rotten leg and a short stick. And I've got a shawl as well. Yeah, we're going to leave that. Don't need uh, any of that nonsense. So, this is the next guy, so let's say hello. I, and who is not? The sinner lies that they sin not. A sinner lies. And yet the boneyard's full of sinners who got their prayers. Well, I did not. Now, I guess not everyone here is going to have something interesting to say. But uh, I want to have a chat with them anyway, because maybe just for curiosity. Come on, mistress. Hear me. Heed me. You've always had a glint in your eye for old Zimski. Don't abandon me now. Zimski mutters to himself as he traces sigils in the dirt. He spies you, and a shrewd look brightens his eyes. He stretches out a hand, showing you a solitary coin on his palm. Heads or tails? Um. Yeah, good point here. It's a bad luck to gamble on the unknown. What are the stakes? A canny one, you are. <laughs> That's what Lady Luck herself always whispered to me in the night. Much good it did me. All my life I served her, and see how it ends? In the dirt. Just the same as everybody else. Turning from you, he crouches back to the dirt. He resumes tracing esoteric sigils, his fingertips swirling through the graveyard clay. I don't know what esoteric means. Um. Yeah, what are you trying to draw? Uh, signs, the caller. Oh, Lady Luck always came when I called. For 30 years we roamed Rivalon together. She was my faithful mistress. From card game, to wager, to grift. She was the life of me. Yet she wants no dead man. Now I cannot influence even a coin toss. But you breed. I'll wager you've more use for my gifts than I do. Here, tell me what you truly value. If my lady sees fit, I'll give you what I truly value in return. Okay, oh, I've got some interesting choices down here. Let's have a look. Uh, value more than coin? Well, definitely, yeah. Uh, happiness and smiles are more than that. Helping others gives you value and meaning? No, it doesn't, unless the value and meaning is the money they pay me for it. Um, Yeah, you know what? Let's go with the villain one, mainly because it's one of the special ones. So, smile and state that I value my own personal achievement, no matter the cost. Good enough. He smiles a foxy smile as he stabs claw-like fingers at your chest. He begins to trace sigils on your flesh. Though you cannot feel his fingers upon your skin, something inside you shifts. You feel a coldness, and a sick longing seeps into your heart. Um, I don't have flesh. I don't have skin. I don't have a heart. So I don't know how I felt that, but okay. Um, I'll stand firm and allow him to continue tracing the sigils. He croons incantations as he works, and his voice is like the throwing of a thousand dice inside your brain. 
Your body is suddenly filled with lust for coin and craving for more. Ah, now you feel her touch. Now Lady Luck sings in your blood as she once did in mine. Now I feel nothing. Oh, and so he disappears. Interesting. Have I got a curse? Has this changed my stats at all? Hmm. Let's have a look if anything's changed here. Let's see, no? We seem to be the same, but it could be a hidden thing. Now, I did do a quick run around as soon as I actually noticed that spirits were popping up everywhere. Do you remember this guy? I remember this guy. He almost killed me, so let's say hello. Oh, achievement. Spirit animal. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, good point, actually. There's one person who can talk to him. The dog spirit rolls his head around, gawking at the ground and sky as if he'd never seen them before. Then locks his eyes on yours. He snarls unconvincingly. I am. I am death. Uh, you're dead. Uh, yeah, what are you guarding now that you're, you know, dead? Anathema! It will be ours! The masses will tremble! Our enemies will bow before the demon blade! Um, I'm not really sure what to say here. I'm not really sure what he's talking about. Uh, you know what? Let's give him a thumbs up, boy. He sure showed you. The masses tremble at my might. We will retrieve Anathema. Our enemies will bow before the demon blade. I have only just noticed there's a crypt door there. He moves to lick his haunches and seems taken aback by his own translucence. Yeah, what do you mean? What's an Anathema? Once a demon, now a weapon. We heard its call. And slayed our allies in its name. It is near. With it, we will slay living and undead alike. There will be no mercy. The canine spirit lifts his head to howl, but can barely manage a whimper. He tucks his tail between his legs, shocked at his own impotence. Alright, so... Open this door. Oh, I know it's locked. It's lock pick it. I can't believe I missed this before. Um, you know what? Let's save it before we go down. Like, this guy was guarding it, but God knows what's still in there, so... Two seconds. Alright, and down we go. Down the hatch, as it were. Okay, we've got a petrified plunderer. Petrified Marauder? Oh no. My brain just ticked in and actually reminded me what petrified means. Yeah, they've all been turned to stone. Um, right. What is doing this to them? Now, I can actually undo this, I think. Okay, wait, are you actually petrified as well? Mm, appears to be, okay. Because my first thought was, you're turning people to stone. Because if I use Fortify, I think that cures Petrification. Uh, let me just double check. I think knowing this before we go in is actually quite useful. Ah. No, it doesn't. Hmm. We could be uh, potentially getting in a bit of trouble here. Uh, we can apparently talk to them, although... Yeah, let's just go say hi if At we can. First, you might think the figure is a simple stone statue. But it bears no chisel marks, no uneven surfaces, no signs of polishing. This is a petrification victim. Yes, it is. Um. Oh. Just double check what we can loot around here and then possibly just get the hell out. Oh, I think I know what it is. It's whoever's in that. Okay, let's have a look around. Let's see, is there anything else I can loot? Wooden figurine, cracked amulet. No, it's all to do with, well, this. The petrified woman cannot speak, but her eyes glow with the fury of the sun. 
Yeah, go on then. Alright. Petrified. Shit. Um. Cured by magic shell or bless. Um. Wait a second. Where did I get my source energy from? Because, of course. Yeah. So, of course, that's my source energy gone, but can anyone else actually do that? Because if not, I may be actually quite stuck here. I'll tell you what. Let's get right back. Oh, if he was immune to bless, I probably should have tried opening it again. Right, what we're going to do is... Gloves. Oh, of course, there's actually no space for him to do this. Right, hang on. Um... Wow. Well, Quite a lot of invisibility stuff. Right, one of these needs to go. It's not actually getting rid of the thing itself, so what I'm going to do is we'll do that. There we go, that's the lazy way of doing it. Alright. Here we go. Wait, we can't teleport this? Hmm. Now, the next thing I could do is actually remove whatever's on this Quana person. Can I actually just straight up heal her? No, that doesn't work either. Do I have... Oh! Suffocating and petrified. Okay, so fortunately, Fane can actually remove the petrification, so let's try it. Where well, wasn't this rich? Cursed by a coffin? A rescue by a cadaver? The indignity. Well, I always pronounced it cadaver, but that's just me. She huffs in annoyance and rolls her eyes. Oh, all this trouble and for nothing. Never figured I'd need frost armor. Um. Okay. What have we got to say to her? Well, we know how she was petrified. Yeah, you must have scored some uh, sweet treasure down here. Ouch! Ouch! You talk like I'm some cat burglar, slinking around and snatching jewels. But I'm in the market for something bigger. She purses her lips and coyly tilts her head. Oh, but do forgive me. I haven't offered you proper thanks. She bows in insincere reverence. Her arm rests on her back, hand mere inches from her staff. Okay, um... Yeah, let's... Let's loot the crypt together and share the spoils. Spoiler, I'm not going to share them. Ah! Oh. She rises from her bow. The deep blue veins on her face pulse violently. Oh, honey. Oh, no, this isn't the way you wanted it to end. But Anathema is still out there, and I'm not keen on competition if you get my drift. A jolt of cursed fire flares from her staff. Bring it. And of course I gave her frickin' magical armor. Okay. It is in fact fighting time. I don't really know what we've got here. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my, okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Even the things you summon to summoning things? Oh my god. Okay then, um... Now, what I do know is if I actually focus on her, that should actually remove everything. Oh my god, if I don't die first... Oh my god, this just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? Do I get a turn yet? Jesus Christ, how many things did they summon? Oh my god, I still haven't had a turn yet. There we go, and I've almost lost all my shit. Okay. Now, just to remind myself. Go to examine. Soul bond. 
Yeah, okay. So I just need to kill whatever summoned you, which essentially is her. So, first things first. Missed. Oh my god, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, This just set up damage. I need to do damage to her now. Um, Alright then, well... Let's buff. Uh, tactical retreat. We're going to get out of there. I'm actually going to go over near her. So let's go. Let's go there. I could do with some armor. And oh god, so could everybody else. Um, actually, saying that, my tank can buff himself. There you go, Scarbius. Um, what have you got? You've got one point. Okay. Um,. I don't think there's actually anything you can do, so I should have to end your turn there. As for you, you need to get the hell out. Uh, let's give yourself some evasion. Now, here's the thing. These guys have no magical armor. That, that guy does. That guy has no magical armor. Where's his buddy? Hang on. Um, manufacturing points. Good. Don't want to waste my turn. Um, I forget which button it is. Hang on. Two seconds. Alright, right, alt. There we go, that's what I wanted. Because it's actually kind of hard to see these two guys, so we want to kill both of them and do 611 damage. Now, there is a way we can do that very, very quickly. And that's Supernova. It's also going to hurt my tank as well. Oh, God. However, this one won't. So let's just use this one. Okay, and... Probably should have checked this first. Why is he completely immune to that? Oh, you just straight up don't take any damage from fire. Ah, okay. I maybe should have checked that first. Oh dear. Um. Alright, what you're going to do then is... You're going to start dishing out some buffs. Because your turn has kind of gone a bit downhill. Right. Let's get some damage to uh, Scarvis as well. Okay, as for what you're doing, you're going to buff yourself. Alright. And you can hit her with this, so go for it. Wait, that was my turn altogether? Oh god. This is the thing, these guys have so many turns. What are doing him in here? Okay, right. Now she's got no physical armor, let's make sure she doesn't run away. Then let's make sure she starts bleeding. And yeah, okay, that's my turn. Yeah, they're about to have a lot of uh, skeleton goes in a minute. So hopefully I survive through this. Right. As for you, let's go with the most damage you can deal. And... Oh, missed. Hang on, what's this? Okay, this is actually the, another high damage thing. I actually forgot he had this ability. I know it goes straight through enemies and all that sort of stuff, but... Yeah. Yes! Okay. It's kind of important you actually remember that. You can actually focus on the person who summoned the stuff in, like to begin with. Job done. Okay. What have you got? Oh, raise Bone Widow. Okay. Uh, Shadowed Tomb Key. Okay, I get the feeling it's actually... I don't know, if it was the key to, um, like this thing next to me here, then, uh... Oh, I wonder if it's just the key to get in here. I mean, I've already opened the place, so... Anyway, ripped page. Let's have a look at this. The page looks to have been ripped out of a larger tome. Said by locals to be a shard of the infamous weapon known as Anathema, and perhaps even responsible for causing Johanna Suri's descent into madness. If the aging Dowager, Dowager was ever aware of the family heirloom's value, she never let on. In the months before her death, Johanna's mind was lost to hate and hallucination. She would come to mysteriously chant 213 at the few servants that remained as they attended to her bizarre beauty rituals by the 
You notice the same succession of numbers mentioned in the text has been scribbled on the page's margins. 2, 1, 3. Okay. Uh, what is this? Silly. All in the family. We've proceeded a page telling of a renowned object that drove the late Johanna Surrey to madness. I don't even know who that is. Um, let's look at this previously. Tarquin, who I forget who that is, has asked us to retrieve a powerful artifact for him. Oh! Can be found in the nearby Surrey family crypt. Oh! I think I know what this is. Yeah, because Tarquin is the guy who, um... Well, he's actually the southern part of this place, before we actually went in. Now, um... Yeah, I've got petrified burgers and things like that, but I want to open this. The thing is... How do you actually make yourself immune? Because, I mean, I know I can actually just undo this. So... Yeah, because if you notice, it just does that. So... Now, is it because he's still on him? You know what? Yes, it is. Okay. Because he's still got the armor on him, he's actually immune to it. So, what did we just steal? High quality earth essence. Uh, let's see. I've got plenty of that. Let's keep that. Oh, pizza. That wasn't in there, though. Uh, a puff ball. Don't really know what that is. I'm probably going to end up selling it anyway. Uh, let's see. Silver glass. Yeah, alright. Okay, so we didn't get something amazing from that, but I think we've basically just... Yeah, pillager. Actually, you know what? Let's go, uh, help, you know, in quotation marks. Nothing but bone dust. Oh, God. Even the petrified aren't immune to the ravages of time, it seems. Okay, well, he had nothing. Okay, because I wanted to actually loot these people, and if I just kind of... Did the same thing to this Kwana person where I just sort of stopped them from being petrified, then I was going to loot them as well. But you know, I mean, they're called burglars, so it's not as if they're not like unfamiliar to this kind of thing. And what do you have? Got some money on him. I mean, you know, if they're burglars, if they were like halfway through their daily job, then yeah, they might have something on them, so. Just have to keep waiting for this to be done on this. It's in there. Can anyone else do any, any armor stuff? Now that does decaying. I think that's what I might be getting confused with. So armor frost, go, go. There we go. What have you got? Marauder. Oh, he's got nothing. Okay, so we've got a plunderer. That's my next one, and. Marauder. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is when I'm done actually looting these people, I'm actually going to go and... Well, I'm actually going to go straight to the, the other tomb. 213, I believe it was. So, yeah, let's see what this is. Ooh, an unidentified ring. Oh, saying that. Uh, I know. I actually don't need to send it to uh, Fane. He can identify it from here. 33, Necromancer and HP. Now, no one actually needs that. Of course, Wits and Scoundrel, that's just useful. Now, what about you? Constitutional Warfare, again, that's just useful. Iphon, what about you? Uh, no. And Fane himself. Yeah, don't really need that, so just sell it. I know that maybe I should probably focus on how much armor is given rather than the stat boosts, but... Nah. Honestly, I think uh, it's going to have to be quite a bonus in the armor itself before I start removing the uh, the uh, like the points from them. All right. So, what I was attempting to say before is over here, because this is their tomb. So let's go check this out. Go go go! It's the shadowed tomb door. So. 213. Now, why would. Hmm. Yeah, I've just reminded myself what this place is. 213. How is that going to be useful? Oh, 231. But either way, we've got the buttons in here which we we'll press to open this. It's shut tight. Yeah, it is, but. It won't budge. 
How inconvenient. Hmm. But there's nothing number related. And in here, I was thinking maybe this? Like this machine here, but at the end of the day, it's just a button to open it. And there's nothing number related. It won't budge. How I don't think anyone's strong enough for this. Let's see. Who actually has... It's constitution, armor, armor. Does anyone have anything that just boosts how much like strength you have? Because I used to have a potion like that, but I've already used it up, so... No, I don't. Um, hmm. Oh, seeing as I still have this on. Can't teleport it. Okay, so we still don't know what this is. It's shut tight. Don't ask me why I thought that might work, but... Hey, it's got acid on it. Does that work? No. Right, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and actually have a speak with, um... Well, the guy who told us to come down here in the first place, so... Where is he? Now, saying that, actually, what I will do... Spirit Vision, let's just switch that on. Just in case we come across someone who also knows what's going on. Now nah, it was down here, wasn't it? This is where he is, if we can actually just get over here. Let's have a word with him and say, Hey Tarquin, actually, uh, you know, 231, that mean anything to you? Ah, you again. Any luck in old lady Surrey's tomb? Like, there's clearly something I'm missing here, so if you guys actually know what the problem is, post in the comments below, because I'm kind of lost on this. Uh... You poor old... Feeling your advancing age, are you? Find the tomb where Joanna Surrey is buried. Retrieve the mysterious heirloom that was buried with her. Re Tarquin sighs. I hate to sound so condescending, but sometimes do enjoy yourself. At yeah, he's basically said the same stuff. Because this thing, maybe it's just something as simple as I'm just not strong enough. Like if I had a character who was strong enough, because I mean, what you're at 21 strength, which is pretty high, but. You know, it's not the highest, so... If I could actually open that. Now, there is actually someone else we want to talk to who I have found. So, let's get over here. And I believe it was one of the people who... I actually fought before. I also want to see if there's anyone else around here. Because I'm mainly looking at the mini-map right now. But yeah, it was this guy over here, and I think, Spirit of Vilks Creever, I think, he's one of the people who, uh, oh, I think he's one of the people who we actually, uh, fought earlier, if you remember, like, um, over this side, over here, where this mess is. Stranger in a strange land, these are lizard remains, but in the human section of the graveyard, something is amiss. All right. Well, you there. Help me, please. Maybe I was wrong about that cuz of course, if these are his remains, then it's not one of the people I fought before. Uh yeah, what's the matter apart from the fact that you're dead? Some thoughtless fool buried me in this grave to be left as fodder for the worms. I can't be at peace in a place like this. I have to be put to rest according to lizard tradition. The eternal fire burns in the lizard quarter of the cemetery. I beg you, cast my remains into the fire. Set my spirit free. I will never know peace otherwise. Now, I am going to do this for him, but my question is, what's in it for me? Ah, I should have known your kind would seek recompense. Very well. Do as I ask, and you will be rewarded. Okay, then. So, a disembodied lizard leg. And, that well, that's that's it. That's all that's came out, so... Okay, now, as for what he's talking about, you may remember... Uh, this. Now, there's still this chest, which I haven't opened yet, and I'm very tempted just to break it open. Saying that, what was the key I got earlier? Shadowed tomb key. Ooh, hello. Spirit of a Lizard. Now, before we do this... Actually, say that, no, let's just do this straight away, because this isn't for that. 
that lizard. Uh. Oh, that's why this lizard corpse is here. Yeah, I just didn't get why they were there. I just thought, oh. Fell into the wrong thing, have they? Well. That is what I'm supposed to do, right? Because, I mean. There it is. Let's see if he's still there. I want to make sure I've actually got this done correctly before I talk to this other lizard. Where were you? Where were you? Right, over here. So, when we get close enough, if he's not there anymore... Oh! Honestly, I thought when he'd be done that he'd just kind of, like, poof into the, like, non-existence or whatever, but okay. My remains have still not been consumed by the eternal fire. Only then can I know peace. Okay, what am I missing then? Because I did literally throw them into the fire. Is there like a different section they're supposed to be in? Because bear in mind, like, oh, maybe it has to be right in the middle. I don't know if you can see if there's kind of like a platform here, like a circular platform. Alright, but I'm going to get that shit back. Uh, let's put some water on here. And there it is, disembodied leg. Let's grab that, okay. So, what if we put it right there? You have done wow, that's a lot of XP! Now, the Hall of Echoes beckons. Alright. Oh, wow, that's... that's something, isn't it? Uh, a poison wand, maybe... Uh, that bow, I believe, is less. That's less. Uh, oh god. Um, I don't think I actually need any of this whatsoever. Um, I'm just going to go with a stone wand. Because I don't think it's enough, like, damage-wise, for me to want to swap out. But, as you can see, like, I don't think anything else is good enough. I mean, there's these plate boots, but I'm pretty sure... Considering these boots I have are much better than, well, the Red Prince's, I'm pretty sure this is probably the best I'm going to get out of it, but... Alright, so... 20 to 23. Is it worth it? No, it's not. But, hey, we can just sell it, can't we? So, there you go. I'm actually giving these to the right guy, right? Who's my salesman? I always get this wrong. Who is my salesman? Um... Bartering for... Bartering for... Oh, so it doesn't actually matter if I get it wrong. It's just one of those two. Alright, so, let's have a chat with you then. It's hard not to feel some pride in reptilian engineering. I watched an elf spend hours trying to force his way into a lizard's chest. Eventually, he threw it into the flames. But still, it sits there. Indestructible. Well, actually, it's not still there. It's over there because I moved it. He did not leave empty-handed, unfortunately. I pity the poor salamander that he dragged back to his ghastly home. Oh, so I was really hoping that I would just find some way to open this. The chest before you is covered in old ancient empire pictograms. You consider trying to find some lock picks in your bag, but looking at the chest, you don't see any keyhole. You hear a deep rumbling from inside the chest, and a voice emerges. It hisses and clicks, but doesn't make any sense. That's new. There's a voice inside the chest? Uh, I don't remember this. Um, can you open in the name of the Divine? The chest's chatter gets louder and angrier. It refuses to open. Okay, speaking of forked tongues, what is this? Uh... Can't just sell at Riker's house since he can take a liking to us. Okay, so that's like step one, and then find a magically locked chest that demands a password. Well, we've already killed the salamander in Riker's place, so the chest before you is covered. You hear a deep rumbling um, from inside the chest, and a voice Open the name of the gods. Gets louder and angrier. It ref the well, let's just keep trying. Hear a deep rumbling Give from a from solid kick. A quiet hissing chuckle from the chest as you hop about holding your foot. It's tougher than it looks. Alright, so I'm going to have to find a password, and it's not, like, 231, before we can open this. Oh, this will give me something to think about, won't it? 